Now, you're hearing a lot on Fox and elsewhere, people come on and predict how many seats we're going to win in the Senate, how many seats we're going to win in the House. Do you find this helpful? I don't know why people need to predict these things. You want to predict these things, write them down and wait till after the election. Now, why do I say that? We need people to vote. We need people to have a sense of urgency. We need people to do more than they normally do on election day and before election day to get their family members, friends, colleagues, neighbors to vote, to go through their email lists, to go through their phone lists, maybe text people, to contact people you might not normally contact, but who you know might need help to vote and will vote the right way. We can't rely on the Republican National Committee. We can't rely on precinct workers. You're the precinct worker. I have nothing against precinct workers. In fact, they're very important. But we have to take matters into our own hands. We did it in 2010 with the Tea Party movement. It was done last year with the parental movement in the schools and so forth. This is how the base needs to act. And even beyond the base, independents and Democrats who love this country, who can see that it's heading south, the borders are wide open, we're gutting the police force, we're gutting our military with social engineering. Everywhere you look, we're gutting women's sports. The radical left ideologues through this administration have control of the instrumentalities of government. You look at the House and the Senate, their agenda is to fundamentally alter the way we govern ourselves by eliminating the filibuster rules so they can ram through whatever they want and it'll be almost irreversible even with just 50 senators, if they can get away with it. And in the House, of course, all they want to do is investigate Donald Trump and try and uh, give a black eye to the Republican Party. It's going to be up to you. I have a headline here from today's Washington Examiner. Democrats lead in early and mail-in voting as more than 22 million ballots already cast. A historic record in early voting, and the Democrats are leading in early voting, 45% to 33.3%. Now, you might say, as the pollsters say, and I don't really normally care what the pollsters say, well, that's typical. Well, if it's typical, we're not going to crush them. And so whether I'm the lone voice on this and others will join me who have uh, radio or TV shows, it is crucially important that we stop predicting and stop talking about red waves and red tsunamis. Pray to God it happens. If it happens, we celebrate. We are thrilled. But it has to happen to happen. In other words, we have to vote. We have to organize. We have to do our thing. You know, I see things a little differently. I'm an activist. I've always been an activist. Since I was 13, I would work the, uh, the polls, not so much for the Republican Party, for the conservative candidates. And that's how I got my toe in the water when it came to politics. When I was in uh, law school, I ran for the local school board. I was 19. I had started the Committee for Tax Limitation because the Democrats had massively increased property taxes. And uh, I was involved in the Republican primary decisions. And then finally, the head of the Republican Party came to me and asked me if we could help the Republican Party. I said, as long as we can push the right agenda. And as 19 years old, I was <laughs> politicking in areas that were considered solidly Republican. Um, and these were mostly Gentile areas. It was hilarious, German areas and Italian areas. They couldn't wait for Levin to show up. And then in the Jewish areas, more Democrat areas, they couldn't wait for Levin to get out. But we, we overwhelmed them. And so this is the way you do it. It's door by door. It's canvassing. It's calling. And if 100,000 of us do that, then I say we will crush them. Because 100,000 times 20, that's a big number. And even more. So Democrats lead in early and mail-in voting. Now, keep a few things in mind. The Democrat candidates in these marginal districts or who won in Republican districts are posing as moderates. Every single Democrat voted for the last massive bill that has caused incredible inflation. Every one of them. Every single Democrat voted for 87,000 new IRS agents who are going to be auditing you. Well, Mark, I don't pay income taxes. Well, they'll audit that too. Why don't you? I'm telling you, they're going to be knocking on your door. They're going to be sending you these scary letters. That's how it works. 87,000, they need something to do because they already have 90,000. $80 billion towards that. That's what they spent. That's what they got through at the very end because they want these police state powers 
to control. More information coming out how the White House and the Democrats worked with the oligarchs in Silicon Valley to silence you on social media. We can't have that kind of tyrannical mentality. And yet that's what they did. As you know, and I don't even need to tell you, the border is wide open. But most of us have not been to the border. Or most of you have not been to the border. Do you know what's going on on that border? It is criminal mayhem. I mean, attractive young ladies are being raped and molested and sold into sexual slavery. The drug cartels are running the border. You can go miles and miles on that border. You won't find any border control, uh, patrol because what the Biden administration has done is they've taken the border patrol off the front line. They're doing administrative work. And you have to hope that there's enough uh, uh, state police and so forth in Texas and Arizona to be manning the border. You can't have a country survive like this. No other country does this. So these are diabolical, intentional acts by the Democrat Party and their president. And so the only way you can push back is now. We are very fortunate. We have an election in a week to try and set things straight. That doesn't mean everything's going to be fixed, whether we have one house or two. The president has enormous executive powers, obviously, and he's, he can veto whatever he wants. But we've got to make the case. We've got to begin the process. We've got to start fighting inch by inch by inch for our liberty back, for our country back. And so to watch people just talk about what they predict will happen, I don't even ask guests, what do you think is going to happen? Why does it matter? They're not Nostradamus. They can look at the polls. They're not 100% sure. I, I can tell you what will happen in this sense. We vote in mass. We win in mass. We don't vote enough. They win in mass. That's not a good thing. In fact, it's a disastrous thing. Want to see more Mark Levin? Go to levintv.com and subscribe now.